the end of the day, these players want one thing and one thing only, and that's their Corn Ferry Tour card. And to do that, they need to finish up in the top 50 at the end of the event. Well, I'm looking forward to today, that's for sure. All right, y'all, I'm new at this. Here we go. Serious, seriously. The lines aren't too bad here in the first cut of rough. What an escape artist. That was a horrible lie. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Okay, steady now. Man, so the ball gonna roll roll off the earth? This rolling like that? Here we go. Time now for the fourth shot. Lovely touch. Well played. Gotta say, his short game is phenomenal. Currently at plus one for the day. Here we have a par five. Players want to take out any club. Driver three with whatever it takes to miss the bunkers down the right-hand side in order to give them the best opportunity to knock it on in two. However, danger lurks everywhere around this green, so players playing cautiously might want to consider laying up. Birdie fours are always a good score to this hole, and you're never disappointed with a five. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but uh shot. This is looking pretty good in the air. Yo, okay. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Eight feet to the cup. This looks good. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. He's currently tied for ninth. Teeing off here at the third hole. A split green here. It is difficult to make birdie twos, but par threes should be had. Keep your fingers crossed for a bounce to the right. I don't, I don't know about that wind, though. You see miles per hour, so it's going that way. Yeah, that wind was going right, so I will hit at least towards the left. Okay. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. So no movement there. The player remains at even par. The fourth of TPC Boston Rich, a great short par four. Players looking to make birdie or better. The only difficulty is finding that front bunker. That's when big numbers can be had. For sure, birdies galore. Oh, that's piped. That's heading down the runway. Oh. 
second shot here on the fourth. And he's down there. You got a read? Can't be too aggressive here. Take your medicine and move on. This is down the hill. Oh, just missed. missed. Oh, man. That, I see that win. I, I don't know how to calculate it, though. This is what they have left for par. They're nicely holed. Trailing by five shots after that hole. Two great shots are required here because this hole is a long par four. Dog legs from right to left. The big danger here is the green. Three different tiers on this green. Find the correct one. You'll have a birdie opportunity. Miss it, and it's going to be a difficult two putt. Nicely done. And he's down there. Setting up here from about 165 yards. Going with the seven. That one should find the surface. Okay, 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 okay. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. This putt for a spot in the top five. Was on a good line. An opportunity to make their par. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Welcome to the tee of a par four. Bunkers down the right-hand side are a nuisance. The pawn fronting the left part of the green should not come into play if players find the fairway off their tee shots. Second shot to a very flat green. You can get it close, but still difficult on this long par four. Okay, I get that. Okay. This is, uh, hold on, help. That was scout cam. Okay, I can look at that. Change club. Reset shot. Shot snapper. I don't want to do that, though. Okay. Let's keep going. Looks like they got all of that one. That's on a good line. Yeah, I'm liking these, and I'm starting to get back into my sports, man. Particularly the approach, Rich, at TPC Boston's a very strong one. If they put the pin other than front left near the water, it's a good birdie opportunity. But once that pin sneaks over to the left-hand side, watch out. Bogeys and doubles come into the equation very quickly. See, that wind is coming down. I don't want it to go near that water, though. See? Two miles per hour, it's going downward, so it might push the ball towards the water. Let me see. Oh, that was that was a little bit over. Damn, I knew it. Push it over some more. Damn. I should have pushed it over to the right some more. What I gotta do now? And here, and here we are. We are. With their All right. Three shots off the lead. Sixteen feet to the cup. Oh 
with this next putt now for double bogey. That gets the job done. Sitting at two over for the day. Here we have a long par five. Par five, and only the long players can reach in two. Find the fairway, then make a decision. Do I go over the large bunker 100 yards away, or do I lay back of it? Either way, you must make a par five here, because birdies will be had by the big hitters. Rich, being a big Boston sports fan, love being here in Beantown. And look, TPC Boston's a great venue for any championship. We've had some great winners here in the past, the likes of Tiger Woods, Ricky Fowler, Justin Thomas. Uh, this golf course, it gives, but it also takes. Look at the list of winners you just mentioned. What do they have in common? A, they're really gritty competitors, but B, they're super good, reliable ball strikers. I think that this golf course is sneaky, demanding. Whoever wins this week is certainly going to earn it on this relatively seemingly benign but sneaky hard golf course. Oh, absolutely flushed. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? This is a 12-footer here. This is what they have left for birdie here. It was a gallant attempt. Woo, I try to move it over a little bit. Come on, let's get this. This looks like it's got the speed and the line. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. Already in progress. We're picking up action on the eighth hole. Going with the five wood. This looks to be heading to the green. Luke, that did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. Not far from the green here, just in the greenside rough. Ooh, that almost went down. Big putt for par coming up. Right by the hole. And this one will be for bogey. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. We've reached the ninth hole. Time to tee off. Ninth hole, bunkers down the left will not come into play. And this green sits below the players on their second shot. We have seen birdies made here in the past, but they are really difficult to come by. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Playing from around 160 yards. All right. All right, that wind is going towards the right. Let me see if I can hit it like this. Okay, let's see. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Just got to use the touch of a feather. Barely has to blow on it. This is just downhill. Uh, a bit long on that one. 
Well, good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. Oh, get out of here, yo. Oh, are you kidding me? The putt goes in, and that's back to back bogeys. Yeah, making one bad mistake with another, compounding it, not good. And as we head over to the 10th hole, Rich, this player will enter their final nine holes of Q School. How will they be feeling? Look, this is the spot where you either fail or shine. And I got to say, nine holes left to put themselves in the top 50 to make another Corn Ferry Tour. Failing is definitely an option for this player. That's a nice looking tee shot, that one. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Well, by my estimation, they're looking at 110 here. This one's hitting left, I think. And not a bad approach. He'll be putting. 16 feet to the hole. Surely it's going to. You know, it's not if you're going to you respond. Well done. Trailing by eight strokes now after that hole. Teeing off here at the 11th. Par three measures 231 yards from the back. A very difficult test indeed. A long green that is unforgiving as it slopes from back to front quite severely. Birdies are hard to run by as pars can be as well. That's inside the house of opportunity. And this one for back to back birdies. Don't want to state the obvious, Rich, but uh, a little too hard, that one. That was a gallant attempt. This next part is for Bogey. Sitting at four over for the day. And moving down the leaderboard as well. Here we have a long par four. It's going to take two great shots to get on. Par four, 510 yards. It is a brute. Those bunkers down the right-hand side are a natural attraction for wayward golf balls. Second shot is down the slope. A big, deep, gaping bunker on the right-hand side will also find its fair share of golf balls. All in all, just a tough hole, to say the least. Oh, that was pure. What's in front of them, Henny? This is a 12-footer here. You know, I'm, I'm just hitting it. I'm just hitting it. I'm, I ain't going by the wind and all that. Well, it was a wonderful approach shot, wasn't it? But unfortunately, having to settle for par. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. Tee shot up the hill to a blind landing area. Second shot is to a green that is surrounded by a cavern of bunkers. If you miss all those and find the green in two, then you'll have a decent look at a birdie three. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Setting up here from about 150 yards. Going with the nine iron, I think. And he's safely on the green. 15 feet to the cup. Par putt coming up here. And down it goes. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. 
And now teeing off on this par four hole. Fairway sweeps from right to left down the hill. Should you find the fairway, you'll have a decent look at finding the green in two. But I've got to say, it is a difficult par four, and you'd be happy to walk away with that score. The 14th hole at TPC Boston is a par five for the locals. A converted par four for the tournament, Rich, and it's a strong second shot down the hill. Second shot, very narrow opening to this green. Wow, I got in there. To the right of the bunkers, have a difficult time getting it up and down. Out to the left, you have some options. Parts can be made. Good shot there. Already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. This punt is about 16 feet. This is what they have left for birdie here. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. And now at plus four for the round. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. Par four, and a fun little par four at that. Just 421 yards from the back. Fairly generous fairway, but a green that can provide some entertainment as there's some different swales in the green, and your golf ball can go a-wandering if you're not careful. Choosing the 9-iron nine -nine here. That's a pretty handy shot. That should set up another chance. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. Oh, he's up, Tiger. Five feet coming up to the cup. This is looking solid, what they wanted. That will work. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Teeing off here on the 16th hole. Watch out for this green. There's a large shelf on the right-hand side. If it's up there, good luck getting it close. And whatever you do, don't be silly and hit it left in the water. That's just a bad shot. Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still good. Oh, so close. That'll sting a bit. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. And well hold. Let's move on. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Time to face a par four. Dog leg from right to left. Second shot is down the slope. Lots of bunkers on this hole, but should you avoid them and find the sliver of a green, then birdie will be on your mind. Oh, well played. Well, Rich, the 17th hole at TPC Boston, I think the most important thing is positioning your tee shot so you can get a clear look at the green here. A very narrow green actually bisected. Oh, that was, that was bad. Belly, thus the size of it. Find the right level. You have a birdie opportunity. That was a bit of a miscue. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. And he needs this to save par. Ouch, that hurts. Six feet remaining to the cup. That's pretty tidy. Yep, well hold for bogey. And a little slide down the standings after that hole. Of all the finishing holes on the PGA Tour, Rich, there's plenty that feel the TPC Boston can be right up with the very best of them. Long hitters are looking to take it down the left-hand side and get the extra chase on the golf ball down the slope. That'll leave them with a very short second shot to a dangerous green, big deep bunker right, and a large hollow on the left-hand side. 
birdies and eagles have been made before, but so have sixes and sevens. Yep, that'll work. That's fine. Man, I'm just trying to knock this out, y'all. This putt for a final score of 75. And with that, this player has finished their Q School final. But Rich, unfortunately, they didn't manage to make it to that all-important top 50 and won't be able to advance to the Corn Ferry Tour next season. However, on their side is the opportunity to do it all again next year. The player is going to have a rough go of it for another year until they can get back and hopefully get into the Corn Ferry Tour Championships. A fair bit of soul searching, I would imagine. There's going to be a lot of searching for, for your game a little bit. I mean, you're going to be traveling, living on the road full time. It's not easy nor fun, but it can and hopefully will make this player better in the future. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. All right, y'all. Peace out.